Man, you come right out of a comic book. Pulp to Pixel Media. Exploring the media multiverse of geek culture. He meddled in things Hello, I'm Gotham Schran, creator of the science fantasy comic, The Last Earth. I'd like to welcome you to my speed drawing and art process videos. Each week, I'll take you behind the scenes in the creation of my weekly comic strip. If you'd like this video and wish to be informed when new videos drop, then make sure to like, follow, and subscribe to stay up to date. Hey, everybody. All right, so here is, I'm very excited. This is my first 100 issue, 100 copies of my issue one sort of ash can of The Last Earth. So, just arrived today, so we're just doing our unboxing. So I've seen the proofs digitally, but this will be the first time I'm seeing the physical copies. And I got a hundred of them, but we'll start with one set. Right. Okay, so. Console of the dog is trying to help. Yes. <laughs> All right. And. So cool. There we go. And there's back. Very cool. All right. Is that good? Mm -hmm. All right. So here it is. Uh, this is my first ash can for the collection of the first month of the last earth comic strips um, you can find on my different social medias uh, I printed these out very quickly actually uh, I use Mixum uh, for the printing for any of you who are also interested in doing the making and I did their uh, digest size so the 5.5 by 8.5 inches um, but just on the print, just a couple of things. I do have some rough edges around the with white space that um, I'll, I'm going to fix for future printings of this. But other than this, this turned out really nice. I really enjoyed it. In addition to this, I also have created some uh, stickers. Um, there's actually more than these two stickers. I have more Last Earth stickers on my Redbubble store, uh, including two different... Steelheart, uh, recreating this bike slide right here, the Akira bike slide here. Uh, so you can go purchase those. Um, QR codes right there, and you'll see a few more to come up a few more times. All right, so without further ado, let me jump into this issue itself. All right, so this is a, um, like I said, this is an ash can issue. I'm collecting the uh, first month of the strip. So this is a page to panel, um, one to one page to panel uh, um, uh, printing of that strip. Um, I do plan to make uh, an ash can size one of these for um, each month. So there should be 12 of these total. And uh, if you're interested, I have yet to figure out how I'm going to get it to you either as a um, print on demand or if I'm going to have you guys do uh, if I can do drop shipping to you so uh, that one will probably in the next few weeks I'm going to figure this out uh, if you're interested in getting your hands on a copy however ahead of time I will be at the Phoenix Fan Fusion this weekend June uh, the first weekend in June here um, I'm not sure which days I'm going to go Saturday for sure possibly even Sunday 
and possibly Friday. I'm looking at how, I still have to purchase tickets for it. Um, I do not have a table, so I will try to be selling these gorilla style. Um, you should be able to find me because I will be the only one with the Last Earth t-shirts. <laughs> Wearing a Last Earth t-shirt or a Paul to Pixel Comics shirt. All right, so let's just take a, a quick preview on this and so see what you can have. So here we've got, now this is a, for while I am making this available for anyone who wants to, this is still also a um, portfolio piece for me. So this is a chance for people to get QR codes with my, uh, to all my social media and also see my art. All right, I do like how this printed, the paper printed really nice and the color, since I'm working in black and white with gray tones, worked out really well. All right, and there we can see, oops, unfortunately I cannot move the camera up a little more, but we'll work on that for future ones. So, and I have to say, these look so good in print. I am very excited and very happy about these. Um, oh, here you'll see the original text for uh, Alpha Red, which I, uh, uh, making the little breaks got a little, <laughs> in, the, in the text got a little tedious, so I, you'll notice I'll abandon that in later page panels. And there we have the story. Um, I can say, that I, I have to say the screen tones printed really nicely. Um, the overall and the, um, the paper quality is really nice. I got, I got their uncoated paper for the most part. And it was, and they said, oh, it might bleed and the colors might not work well. But since I was working with black and white, I'm pretty sure I was okay there. Um, let me see. Now, um, this is the current way I'm going to be printing these for, for the foreseeable future. However, I am planning a year's worth of strips and, um, I've already actually started packaging them together as a manga sized book with multiple panels per page. So this is going to go through a number of remixes. Um, so if this kind of format isn't your thing or you don't want to get a copy of it, uh, don't worry, there will be other physical copy formats in the future of this. Um, I plan to sell this in a different, couple of different ways um, to get it in the hands of you guys. And also, if you just want to read it, um, you can still get it for free on my Instagram or my main website. And that's the end. And as you can see, I've done a little preview image. I like this blue background. Um, for the next episode. And you'll notice this in the opening bumper too. Uh, this is a uh, another piece of back art that I did um, to look like the Secret Wars action figure uh, blister pack, you know, action figure on blister pack with card. Um, I wanted to design something. I like to make these little faux ads on the back of these books. Uh, to kind of wear my influences on my sleeve. You know, on the cover, I've got my influences of anime in the form of the Akira slide. And here we have my influences on the Secret Wars toy line and Secret Wars event. All right. Now, um, again, I don't have, uh, it'll probably be in the, about a week or two before I figure out how to get uh, if people want to order physical copies of this directly from me. Um, we'll figure out that soon. Um, I'm also figuring out a way for you guys to do print on demand if you want to just print your own copies. Um, and then finally, if you need to want to get any of my stickers and any of my other art that I have on my um, Red Bubble store, you can download and get your own sets of stickers as well. Um, QR code here should lead you to directly to it. All right, so I'm going to wrap this up here, but um, keep watching as I'm going to go into the art process for this entire video uh, series in a future video. So you can see the whole making of um, in speed drawing art process down the line. I hope you enjoy and have a nice rest of your day. Uh, and I'll see you again on The Last Earth.
thanks again for joining me on my art process journey as I create my comic strip, The Last Earth. You can follow me on the web at www.pulptopixel.com and on Instagram and Twitter at pulp to pixel See the show description for links to my link tree, my merch store, and donation site. See you next time when we return to the distant future of The Last Earth. <laughs>